Hello again, it's me Dave, back with another High Guardian Spice video. What you're all witnessing right now is hopefully the beginning of a brand new series of mine. Every single animation error in High Guardian Spice. Now, if you guys aren't aware, this show has a lot of errors, mostly on the writing side. I've been focusing heavily on the writing in my past videos, but for this series, I want to focus on the more technical aspects of the show. Now, I want to say this up front, I'm not the kind of person who thinks animation errors or bad animation can make a show terrible on its own. If the show has good writing, I'll probably like it anyway. I've loved series with bad animation quality and hated series with good animation quality, so it isn't really a make or break thing for me. Usually in these shows, there are some things that can distract you from certain bad qualities, but in High Guardian Spice, there are so many bad qualities that every problem gets pushed to the surface. And the bad animation is one of them. It's one of the first things people latch onto when making fun of this show, and I can understand why, because there are a lot of errors. But that made me wonder, just how many errors are there? Is it as bad as people say? Well, there's only one way to find out. Me and a bunch of people on my Discord have decided to band together to try and find every single animation error in High Guardian Spice from start to finish. I'd like to give a big thanks to everyone on my Discord who helped out with this. There is no way I'd be able to find all these on my own, since it requires, like, looking through the show at very slow speeds. And I've already watched this show enough that it's going to drive me insane if I did that alone. We're going to be going over the episodes in order from start to finish over the course of a video series, since I'm not going to dump everything in one video because I just, I can't. I have to save some of the sanity I have left, this show has taken a majority of it. But what exactly are animation errors and how do we count what is what? We're looking for illogical things in scenes that don't really make a lot of sense or don't have in-universe explanations, such as characters randomly teleporting, objects randomly vanishing, things like that. Some of these might not be classified as animation errors technically, but I'm using it as a more general term to describe stuff like that. You get the gist. Now there are a few things that would constitute an error in my opinion, but I'll be going over them in order so you'll know what's what. With all that preamble out of the way, why don't we get started with the very first episode. In the very first scene of the show, there's a bunch of errors we gotta cover. First of all, when Rosemary falls down, there's clearly nobody on the rocks, and yet in the next shot, her father suddenly teleports in. Speaking of the rock that Rosemary's dad is sitting on, it teleports around during the scene and also rapidly changes shape. Sage's mom phases her arm through her husband. Ghost mom. The size of this little rock underpass changes multiple times throughout the scene. The speed that this wheel is spinning is not synced with the movement of the cart, and the bird's legs are moving so awkwardly it looks like a bad Gmod animation. Chompy is clearly facing sideways in this shot, but without moving his wings at all, he's suddenly facing forward. Rosemary's arm here clips straight through her dad. Despite the fact that Sage and other parts of the cart are clearly being blown by the wind, Rosemary's hair is as solid as a brick. That is until a few shots later where it's suddenly billowing in the wind. Also, apparently Rosemary gained the ability to make herself smaller in between scenes. Look at how small she is, isn't that adorable? Also, the animators thought they were slick, but I totally noticed that the spokes on the wagon wheels completely disappeared. The buttons on Sage's dress and also the pockets on Rosemary's skirt magically appear in between shots. Keep your eyes on Sage's buttons, because they're going to be changing a lot in the future. This orc dude working on the carriage magically shrinks in between scenes. I'm starting to wonder if High Guardian Spice characters secretly have Ant-Man powers. This wagon slides across the ground like a hover vehicle with its wheels not even moving. This technology is really advanced, man. Rewinding a tick, this wall over here is completely clean, but in the next shot it's suddenly covered in leaves. Rosemary looks through a telescope while in a moving vehicle, and the telescope view isn't moving at all, like they're completely still. And don't even get me started on this telescope, man. One shot, it doesn't have a shadow and looks like it's been super glued into the scene. Next shot, the shadow mysteriously appears. Rosemary and Sage need to escape from this thing, it's clearly a cursed magic item. Rosemary nearly falls off the side of this cliff, and yet when we zoom out, there is no cliff that they're near, and everything's covered with railings. Did they teleport to a new location? When we see the characters moving towards the bridge, we can clearly see the lady in the green cloak is in the front, and yet the lady in the blue cloak makes it there first. Looks like Rosemary and Sage aren't the only ones cutting the line today. We can clearly see that there are people and railings directly behind Rosemary, and yet for some reason neither are visible when we get close to them. We then get a better look behind them and they're still gone, and then the railings mysteriously appear directly afterwards. The front of the train changes color in between scenes. Aloe and Anise are clearly approaching from directly in front of the girls, however they approach from the side in the next shot. This isn't an animation error, but this is kind of stupid. You know Sage's books? Why the hell does she hold those if she has a fucking magic chest that can just hold objects? 
Okay, I need to stay on topic. If we rant about the stupid stuff, we're gonna be here all year. Check out this animation. I don't even know what's going on there. There are clearly a bunch of objects and hangings on this wall, and yet in the next shot, they completely vanish. Welcome to Allo and Anise's House of Horrors. Allo and Anise are clearly behind Rosemary and Sage when they start casting their portal spell, but when they finish, they teleport in front of them. Now that's some of that new, new magic. The shape of this chest, the size of this window, and the arrangements of things on this shelf change in between day and night. So I guess someone broke in and rearranged all the stuff in the room. Also, before anyone asks, I'm not counting Rosemary's sword teleporting in this dream sequence as an animation error. It's probably just a dream. What I am perfectly fine counting is Allo and Anise's infinite cookie plate, because I don't think that's a magic item. I think they just kind of forgot to animate them being removed. Also, glad to see the family chest is back in order. Oh god, the breakfast scene. This is a pile of animation errors. First and foremost, Sage is clearly shown having red nail polish throughout the episode, yet in this shot it mysteriously vanishes. Also, I'd be remiss not to mention the PNG bread, but that's less of an error and more of a bad decision. Although I've heard some people tell me that the PNGs in this scene are transparent, but I don't really see it. A crumb magically appears on Rosemary's face, and then the next shot it's completely gone. Technically not an animation error, but this silverware looks terrible. So we can clearly see that Sage doesn't have any food on that plate over there, and yet in between shots, a plate of food magically appears in front of her. Allo and Anise have a magic fruit basket, which appears to teleport across the table. In this shot, we can clearly see that there's a bag up against this wall over here, and yet in between scenes, it completely vanishes. How has Miss Right Angle's shoe over here not snapped her feet in half? Rosemary appears to be right next to this bag, and yet in the next shot, Sage is the one who's next to it. Do I even want to know what the local carpenter has been doing to these stools? Sage doesn't have a shadow when she's climbing up this ladder. Hey! He's not casting a shadow! What? Look at him! He doesn't have a shadow! Oh, well, it must be the angle. We're probably not casting shadows either. Holy crap! You're right! Okay, I kinda lied. She does have a shadow, but it's only under her hands. Meanwhile, Rosemary gets the full body treatment. When the Trixie lands, we can clearly see that all the stones around it are blue, yet in the next shot, it's right on top of a brown one. Not to mention that wall looks different. Rosemary's sheath vanishes mid-scene, and then continues to not be on her back in future shots. And despite the fact that the sword isn't on her back anymore, it magically reappears in between shots. This thing must be enchanted with an inconsistency spell. So in this part of the scene, Rosemary puts her sword down so I can understand it not being on her back. What I can't excuse is the fact that she puts it back on her back like her sheath is still there, even though it's clearly not. The arrangements of things in Parsley's Forge completely change in between shots. First she's next to a shelf, next she's not. A lot of commenters, and me along with them, thought that this sword disappeared off Rosemary's back in between shots. However, it doesn't. It's still there. It's just for some reason affixed to the other side of her shoulder. Here we can see that Parsley took Rosemary's locket off the anvil, and in other shots we can clearly see that it's not there. However, in between shots it magically reappears like it was placed there by God. I can't technically count this face as an error, but like look at it. Throughout the episode, time has an X mark right here, however in this scene it completely disappears. If you're looking to hunt for animation errors in this show, my suggestion is to find a small detail on somebody's clothing and look at it for a while, eventually it'll disappear. Makes me wonder why they add all these small details if they know they aren't going to be able to stay consistent with them. The shape of this gem on Rosemary's sword changes in between shots. The lighting in this room suddenly goes from bright to dark instantaneously for no reason, even before the door is even closed. There are clearly three pillows on Sage's bed, but when they go to lay down, one of them vanishes. I know everyone already knows about this one, but they forgot to take the watermark off this lamppost. I really hope they actually licensed this image and didn't just rip it off of Google. Now, I like to use the old watermark stock photo for a meme now and then, but this is an actual show that somehow had a watermark stock image make it in. I don't know if that's common, but I don't think it is. I hope not. So here we can clearly see that Chompy is level with Sage's waist, however two shots later he's suddenly on the ground and needs to fly up to get near her. We see that students have shadows while walking up the stairs, however for some reason Rosemary and Sage lose their shadows in the next shot. So there you have it, basically every single animation error in episode 1 of High Guardian Spice. So what is the final tally for the number of animation errors in the first episode? Well, we counted each time an object moved in a scene as a different animation error, so the number that we actually have is different from the amount that I showed you because I kind of skimmed through them. But the final tally for animation errors in High Guardian Spice Episode 1 is 55. 
You heard me right, there are 55 animation errors in the very first episode of High Guardian Spice. And hell, there's probably even more that we missed, I'm gonna be honest. If you guys go through any of these episodes and find errors that we miss, make sure to comment down below along with the timestamp so everyone can see it. And if you want to help even more with the animation error hunt, you can join my Discord. I have a special channel just for this. Again, we're going to be doing every single episode, hopefully, so if you go through some episodes and find animation errors, make sure to write them down so we can have them for later. So, what are my final thoughts? Episode 1 is one of the worst episodes when it comes to animation quality, in my opinion. There are errors left, right, and center, and it just looks bad overall comparatively to other episodes in the series. The reason why some episodes look better than others is because they were sending them to different studios, and some knew what they were doing, others not so much. But if you actually didn't know that and sat through the series and watched it, it really did feel like the animators were learning how to do their job as they went along. I, why does the anime start looking, like, better? Obviously it isn't amazing, but, like, compare the way the characters fit into the background in these shots compared to the first episode, and it's, like, night and day in quality. It's like they were learning how to animate as they went on. It baffles me that the worst animated episode is the very first one, because that's a terrible look. To put it in perspective, the first episode is the episode a majority of people are going to see. It's their very first impression of the show. People who just want to come to the show to hate on it, people who just want to come to the show to review it, and people who are on the fence about the show being good and want to see if it's as bad as everyone says it is, are not going to be impressed by this first episode. A lot of people likely watched this first episode and then immediately dropped it, so they have no idea that the animation quality actually picks up much later in the series. It also gave ammunition to a bunch of people who wanted to hate the show because it looked more buggy than a Bethesda game with errors happening left, right, and center. People act like this entire show is filled with nothing but PNGs left, right, and center even though it's likely only the first episode and I think they stopped doing it afterwards for the most part. This is why first impressions matter. People think this show is terribly animated because the first episode was terribly animated, so they're just saying what they're seeing with their own eyes. The fact that it starts to get a lot better around the time of episode 8 and 9 is far too little, far too late. They should have put their best foot forward in order to make a great first impression. Now, a lot of these errors are small things, obviously, but they start to add up over time. When there are a few slight things that are off in an episode, then it's whatever, but when there's an error almost every single scene, you start to notice things. It starts to feel off. That's why the first episode feels so janky. It's because there's errors happening left, right, and center. Maybe you're not catching them all, but you're definitely feeling like something's wrong. So to summarize, the first episode is one of the most janky in the entire series. Now, it does get better, but there are still errors show-wide. Not to mention the animation just looks kind of terrible for the most part. Unfortunately, good animation wasn't in the budget, so we're stuck with this mess. We need to really focus our budget on more important things, like hiring 11 storyboard artists for a single episode. We gotta manage our small budget, guys. Well, I think it's time for me to head out. Thanks for watching. This has been Dave, and I am leaving once again. Oh, no, you don't. You're staying here until we figure this out. How come you don't have a shadow? <laughs>